Hello everyone, we're coming to you live again from the Swift Factory groundbreaking. To my right here, we have Brandon McGee saying hi to everybody as usual, the community man that he is. Thank you so much, Darlene. So glad to be here. Uh, this is a long time coming, seeing this project move forward, and I'm so glad that we're able to dig in the ground and see some construction happen. Uh, this is going to be a vital project to our community. Uh, I'm sure many people have already talked about it, but this is just the start of many projects happening in Northeast. Yes, it is. And can you believe it, Brandon? Eight years? It's it was eight years in the making. Well, we got to give you some credit, too. <laughs> people coming to the Northeast NRC. I know. Giving us these big old yep. grandiose ideas. And you, Miss Nixon, and others have been on the ground really mm -hmm. making sure that things thank happen. You. So y'all well, need to thank, thank her you. as well as our chairperson. I so. try to stay in, in tune with everything going on in our community. But you know I love you, guy? Brandon. We love no, you but too. I would love to introduce him. Uh, my name is Oni. Uh, I'm a partner in the firm called Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner. Community Solutions was one of our first clients, and we kind of helped them along in doing the market research to get this off the ground. So it's an honor to be here on this day and working with a number of people in the private and public sector to, to finally realize this project. So it's such an honor. Wonderful. It's a pleasure meeting you. And well, he's from Windsor as well. Yeah. Yeah. So the yeah. other side of our district. <laughs> look at that. See, look at you. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you and say hello to the live audience. Hello, hello, hello. And repeat and, and, your name again. Onyeko Biacha. Right, and thank and you where to Access you TV and stand behind the camera there. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Where are you located now? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, so we're, we're located in the Parkville neighborhood of Hartford, Connecticut. Okay, so you need to come back on that side of town. Happy to. Okay, Happy we, to. Need, we need breakfast, lunch, and dinner over here, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, well, we're going to move on to someone else. Thank, thank you, so Brandon. Much. God bless you, and thank God you bless so you. Much. Pleasure meeting you. Okay, let's see. How about if we go over here... How about, let's get Merle. Yes. Merle Davis, another fixture of Connecticut. Not just Harper, in Connecticut, Merle. Yep, born and raised here. Born and raised in yep. North Harper. Went what to Harper High School. I like it. Hopefully it'll be an improvement for the Northeast community. Get people some jobs, some opportunities. Get these young people off the street, get them to work. Yes, that's very important. Yeah, good to see his bears barbecue investing here. Yes. yes. Hopefully uh, he'll be successful. Well, we're going right. to pray that it will be. And again, we can't do it without the people. The people need to invest as well. Just come in. Put, get involved. Come and get a job. You know, we need workers. We got families to need, that need to be supported. You're right. So, Let's keep our community clean. We just need to keep the community clean. Stop we need hope violence. again. We need Stop. hope. Get rid of the violence and bring in some hope. All right. Thanks, Merle. I'm going to move over here. Let's see, I would like to go into Sarah, the first lady of Hartford. I can't let her get away. Sarah, how are you, my dear? Congratulations. Thank you. It's Great. wonderful seeing you here. It's nice to see you. Well, I would like to interview you. Tell okay. me your thoughts on this new project. Well, this is super exciting. I mean, everybody has come together to make this project happen. The yes. community, um, national investors, yes. um, political leaders. We've all kind of seen this great coalition coming together and Wonderful. very excited. Like I said earlier, I felt like dancing. This is something that we need to be dancing about because for a long time we've been waiting for something. Yeah, do that move. Do that move. <laughs> Y'all saw the first lady do that move on live TV. See that? <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, of course. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to the whole community. This is a community effort. All right, there. Thank you. Let's see. Where can we go now? Hello. <laughs> okay. Doug. Doug, come over here. You're live. Access TV. Doug wasn't here earlier, but he's here now. Speak your piece, Doug. I'm here. This is where I should be, right? Yes, this is where it's happening at. Yes. How you doing, Brother Stan? Yep. The man. And I'm um, enjoying this activity, act opportunity to enhance the neighborhood. There's nothing wrong about that. You know, I wish I got an invite, but that's okay. Come oh, on. you did get an invite. Anytime North Hartford has anything, you're invited. I'm all, I'm, I get all right, special, you I want listen. a special invite. Oh, we did. I you, you pick that phone up and say, McCoy, you got to be there next time. Well, you didn't get that message from the pigeon that uh, flew over? I thought that pigeon was dropped, but he ain't come by the cookout. So next year, I know. All right. See? Great see? job. I think it's a great thing. Great yes, people. Yes, yes. And we're doing some good things with this house and this, and this building over here. 
yes, it's about yes. Time. It's well, about time. yes, it's about time. We need it, and it's hot out here. I know. Appreciate it, Dallas. Take Thank care. you. All right, there. Let's go and look and see what type of food they have over here. Bears provided the food, and everybody's over here getting their eat on. Let's see this. Look at this. Look at the nice spread we have here. Don't you guys wish you were here? Look at what do we have here? Tell the audience what you're serving. Pork, chicken, and brisket, mac and cheese, wings, and salad. Amazing food. Courtesy of Bears Barbecue and Fresh Box. So you know the food is awesome. So come on down, stand, take a picture of the food. Take a picture. Let them see what they're missing because they need to be here. Hello. They need to be out here grabbing something. Yes. It's a wonderful occasion. We have live entertainment. We have music, food, good conversation, and it's free. So come on out and enjoy this wonderful celebration. The Swift Factory, 150 jobs, 150 sustainable jobs will be for the residents of this community. Please come out and get yourself acquainted. Come out here and talk to the people, see what type of positions that they're looking for. The older home over here, take a picture of what they're revitalizing. That was the gray house. That's where the community solution office is. The white house they're rehabbing right now, and that's a picture of the factory. And here we have a wonderful woman. She's going to do her one, two, one, two step. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lisa Marnu Harvey Johnson, and I really appreciate all the senators, the, the mayor, personally, I mean the mayor of City of Hartford came here, and Doug, okay, I appreciate that, and God bless you. Yep, and also, and she just reminded me, when we mentioned about the jobs here in our community, we also have a daycare on Barber Street that's open 24 hours a day that you can't even use child care as an excuse to not come out to get a job. We have a daycare right at Unity Plaza, 24 hours a day. I forgot the name of it, unfortunately, but it's a very professionally run organization. Go check it out. You will love it. But I'm looking out for the families because as we stand here today, it's not about us. It's about our children. Right. So it's about the children, our tomorrow children. And we. Well, I would love to see them get more involved. So let's, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. So you know what? When we rise, everybody rise. I don't do it alone. I do it with my community. So let, we're going to help. Yep. We got it. I was just going over there. We got to think What's your name? You're a Jenkins. Don't be shy. He, he looks a little shy, everyone, but we got to get it off of him. It's Officer Jenkins. Yes. I'm, I, Hartford Police Department is very excited to be here. We support the Swift Factory Project full-heartedly. We're waiting for everybody to get back to work. We're, 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 we're enjoying this. This is this is good. This is good. Community. It's good to see the community out, out and about getting in here. What we need from you, Officer Jenkins, is that move. What's that thing that they're doing, the police officers are doing, that move, the dance? That dance that they're doing, the group dance, you know that flash thing that all the police officers are doing. Don't y'all want to see Officer Jenkins do something for the community? Yeah. I don't dance. I'm the wrong guy. You do have to dance. I'm just messing with you. But thank you. Thank you for serving and protecting us. Thank you so much. We're going to move on to some other people here. How would you like to speak to the live audience that's here? Say that again. The live audience, your live on TV. What's your name? Jeffrey Ford. Hi, Jeffrey. How are you? You don't even remember me, do you? Okay, well, everybody yeah. just wants to me because no, I know. <laughs> but listen, Jeffrey, what do you feel? We can talk about that in one minute. So tell me about what are your thoughts about this factor? This oh, I think it's great. Uh, I live okay. right up the street from okay. here. Look at that. And I met Patrick about eight years Look ago. Look at that. And that's when they moved into the community. Yeah, yeah I have to go meet them. You in my neighborhood. Exactly. Now we can get our people busy. Yeah. And Mr. John Thomas, come on over here, John. He loves to talk. <laughs> he on, loves it. On, Here's a microphone, John. Yeah. Here's a microphone, John. What, what are we talking about here? 
Oh, okay. So it's, what you think about it? Well, it's wonderful to be at this point. It's been a long eight-year process, a journey that was focused on economic development for North Hartford. And those eight years represent how hard it was to get investors to come in and invest in our neighborhood and in, in improving our lives through employment. So I'm just over the top of the world with this because, you know, a lot of people in the community didn't believe we could do it for the whole time I was here. And at times I didn't believe we could do it. And, you know, we just stuck with it and here we are. So I just want to appreciate everybody that came out and I will be in the community, educating the community about exactly what's going to be here. We got Bears Barbecue coming in as an anchor tenant. They're going to provide jobs here um, to, at, with the central commissary kitchen. We got a hydroponics indoor growing operation coming here, one of two coming in North Hartford. That's going to grow food year round. We have an inc incubator kitchen. That means caterers, uh, food trucks, Anybody who needs a certified kitchen can rent space here and have their own space to, to provide their food services around the city. We're also going to have a shared office space, kind of like what, you know, under the same principle as Reset uh, over here on Bartholomew Avenue. Uh, but we're going to have a shared office space for entrepreneurs in North Hartford. Um, the white building over there, uh, we plan to have community cultural space. So whether that's an art gallery or an artist in residence or something to do with the arts and culture, we're going to have community space there for meetings, for celebrations. That'll be available. The gray house behind me, we plan to have some form of health services for the neighborhood there. So we got a lot of great stuff coming here, but we're also out here in the community knocking on doors, getting to know every resident in this neighborhood. and giving them information about the project and also about the Block Club network we're building that we want to have SWIFT as an anchored organization to support, but also connect to the NRZ and uh, bring our community back. So most of that work is going to take us. We can't expect anybody else to do it. So I'll be knocking on doors out here, trying to recruit Block Club members to come together, get to know each other, and develop our own voice here. Thanks. All right, darling. We can do that. All right. Well, thank you, John. That was wonderful. And let me, you know what? What I wanted to say, too, our community, North Hartford, is rich in culture, rich in family, rich in people. I love the people of North Hartford. A lot of people think North Hartford is different. No, North Hartford just needs the substance. We need the things to, to substantiate families. We need economic development. We need employment. We need, we're sick of our schools being closed and all the crime going up, but we need resources to help our family to make this community a family again. Back in the day, I remember we used to let our neighbors watch our kids. We used to go next door and ask for, you know, ask for a cup of sugar and get it. Today, we don't even know who our neighbors are. So I, I think we know our neighbors, but we, what we're missing in our community, and this is just my personal opinion, is that village effect. It takes a village to raise one child, a village to raise a child. So with that being said, I think we need to reconnect and find out, you know, our grounds. We, are, we have people around us that truly love each other. People want to love each other, but because of the things happening around here, you know, people are standoffish, but I'm a person, I love people. I love people. I'm not a politician. I hate politics. I love people. So <laughs> with that being said, anything that you need, just let me know. I'll try my best to do what, get what you need or, you know, direct you in the right places, get you the right resources. But we're going to move on to Patrick McKenna, um, another one of the guys from the beginning. Hey, Darlene. Live TV. <laughs> Um, community Solutions, from the beginning, Patrick McG McKenna. How do you feel about this construction, rehabilitation of the sweat factory? <laughs> nice handoff, Darlene. I know, oh, we're right. <laughs> I'm very excited today. The Community Solutions has been working on this for eight years. And uh, I personally have been working on this for four years. So it's such uh, an honor to be here to stand alongside uh, Darlene and her mom, Miss Nixon, and, and Miss Powell. 
uh, who just arrived and uh, all our elected representatives who are here, uh, our funders, our tenants um, uh, and the community who's kind of uh, come out to support. Um, we're, we're, we kind of use the expression that this process has been like pushing a boulder up the hill yes. and we're just at the top of the hill now and it's about to kind of take off yes. and uh, it's going to have its own momentum and uh, you know uh, it's going to take on a life of its own from here on so um, uh, so yeah this is so so exciting and we're it's so blessed very, you know very yeah. I just I'm happy that we're gonna finally get it to, get to see it come into fruition like you said, it's like pushing that boulder up a hill, but it took eight years to cut through the red tape to get to where we are now. And that's okay, because that just lets me know it can be done. We are here at the mountaintop, and we will be here, and we're not dropping, and we're going to keep it moving. Because there are, there's never an end. There's always going to be something to do. So without me rambling on, because I know my thoughts... <laughs> <laughs> but um, the mountaintop, I like that. yes, you know, but yeah. listen, this is the mountaintop, so we just got to keep on pushing, and hopefully, you know, we're gonna bring this, and we're gonna get jobs for our families and a community effort. It's right. everything in community. Let's start bringing the businesses back into this town, into this side of town, so we can start leveraging the playing field. That's right. That's right. That's okay, right. We'll, we'll, I would like we'll, to leverage we'll, the playing field. And we'll be here in eighteen months at the at the ribbon cutting, right? That's right. Eighteen that's months right. from now. But listen, all those construction jobs that's available, yeah. I'm asking the people come on down and see what you know what if they can use you. And then after that, once it's, the construction is over, phase one, we're going to move into phase two, three, four, and five jobs, <laughs> sustainable jobs for for your families. So. Let's go talk to this gentleman right here that's looking at me. Do you like, know, do you know history? No, I do not. But introduce I mean, yourself. So this is Alex. So, okay. Let me let me introduce. Oh, please do. This is Alex Smith, who's the grandson of Alan Swift. The, the the former owner of the building. Yeah. Um, uh, so, um, uh, Alex, I don't know if you wanted to say a, a word or two. Sure. I'm just I'm really thrilled to see the building being put to good use and going back to the community and being revitalized because it was really pretty rough for a lot of years and it's nice to seeing it be put back to some good use and uh, be a positive influence. It's really incredible to see. Great. Great. Well, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you for representing your family and thank you for passing it on to us because we're going to take it's in good hands. I know it is. It's in good hands. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. All right, there. Okay, let's go on. Move the microphone. Don't walk away. Don't walk away because we're going to chase you. <laughs> See? We're going to chase her. Get over here. Get over here. <laughs> I like messing with people. Let's talk to some of the young people. This young lady here. Hi, dear. You're on live TV. What's your name? Shade Brower. Okay, Shade. What are you expecting to see from the Swift Factory? I'm um, just putting the mic in people's faces, and they're not ready, and I apologize, and I'll come to you ladies, too. Um, like my brother said, hopefully more jobs and yes. a lot more opportunities, like you said, mm -hmm. for people that are in our neighborhood. Yes. And what type of um, excitement would you like to see as a young person in North Hartford? And what I mean by excitement, like entertainment or something that's going to be vibrant for our younger community... Um, something to help, you know, to deter them from the negative environment and just bring some positive things into our community. Like, what would you recommend? I think safe places. Uh, safe places? The public library on Albany Avenue. Mm -hmm. That's a really fun place that everyone goes after school. I think okay. that if there were, like, more places like that, there right. would be, like, less youth that's affected by the negativity. And in you know what? And that's a wonderful thing that you said because they are closing down our libraries and that's something that we need in North Hartford. Yes, we love to read. We love to sit back, write, and do things like that, but we're not given that opportunity like the rest of the city. So, hopefully... You know, we're going to start bringing our community back, making it vibrant, and getting our young people more involved, okay? And we're going to be looking out for you as well. All right, well, thank you. Let's go walk around and see who else we can talk to. Let's see. Here's a young lady coming this way. Here she is, Pam. Hi. Please, you're on live TV, Pam. They're looking. Oh, no. Go over here. For okay, Pam, thank you. Can you tell us what this Swift Factory means to you? I think it means being a former city employee, the city of Hartford. Mm -hmm. um, 
formally monitoring a lot of this construction projects. I think this is going to mean a lot for the community in terms of jobs, economic development, even just having um, a, 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 a paycheck every week, a steady paycheck every week for the community. Um, this is going to be an amazing project. I hope that it sustains Hartford as, as back in the heyday, which we all talked about. Hartford is going to really come back and be alive um, again. And I think this is one of the projects that are, that's going to bring it back. It's going to bring back. So I, I'm really excited about this. And being a new NRZ member, yes. I'm, I can't wait to, to have the NRZ who's already a partner with this project. Yes, we are. So I'm, I'm excited. Yes, I'm please. Excited. And just so for the community, the Northeast NRZ meets the third Monday of every month at 530 at the Parker Memorial Kelvin Anderson Center at 2621 Main Street. Please come out. Let your voice be heard. We need to hear from you. We can't get it done without you. And I've been doing it now for so long, and I do need your help. A great job, Thank at you. my man. Thank you. And okay. it's not easy, but I would love for you to come in and be a participant in your community and you know, let us know what you're looking for. Let us know what you need. I don't want to be I don't want to speak for you. I want you to come and tell us what you need and then we can make things happen. It's your community. It's not me alone. It's all I'm just a voice for you. And I'll just I'll make sure that it gets done. All right. So we're going to move on and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.